Hi everyone! Only two months passed since Netpeak Checker has been updated to the version 3.0 and here we go again with the minor 3.1 release. In this video I will tell you about CAPTCHA, new features for CAPTCHA solving, how to use them and actually why we spend our time to make this functionality for you in the first place. I will tell you about all these questions and even more in this short video. Let's go! So, to understand what is CAPTCHA auto solving, let's understand what is CAPTCHA. It's nothing more than a test to identify either you are a human or not. And actually, we all have tasks to retrieve and analyze quite a big data sets, which can take ages if we do it manually. That's why we use programs, bots or scripts to do it instead of us. In order to pass CAPTCHA tests, we have implemented transferring its decoding to the external services instead of passing it ourselves. As a result, we've got quite a big data sets without any significant data losses. The Peak Checker 3.1 user systematically scraped tons of data from search engines and of course regularly meet CAPTCHA. Earlier we had only one CAPTCHA solving service implemented in our tool, it's anticaptcha.com, but as soon as we started receiving a lot of user requests to implement more, we have added three more ways to decode CAPTCHA. First one is program CAPMonster, second one is service to CAPTCHA, and the last one is rule CAPTCHA. It's an analog of to CAPTCHA but for the Russian market. The unique feature of our development is the opportunity to use all of them at once. Program will send requests using all of them in turn, so it will take care of each proxy that you've added to the peak checker. It's just a small note uh, that you can use both proxies and end capture services to get the job done in the most efficient way. Common Big Checker use case is about importing a huge number of pages to the program and analyzing them by a lot of parameters. As a result, you got quite a big data table which might be hard to navigate through. Now, if you don't want to serve among unnecessary data, you can follow this easy three steps. First one is as soon as the analysis is complete, just save the project. Then tick off unnecessary parameters in the sidebar and click on sync the table with selected parameters button. And here we go, only selected parameters are displayed in the report. By the way, all data is not erased, it's just hidden and if you are mixed up with shown and hidden parameters, you can always open recently saved project. Also, you can save currently analyzed parameters as a template and after some manipulations with syncing, you can use it and click on sync the table with select parameters button to show all the data again. Or you can use it for the next analysis. To get the best experience, use the whole functionality of the program. In the end, I would like to mention some other minor changes. First one is we have added 13 new SERPstat databases. Their team is working from dusk till dawn to add data for all countries on Mother Earth and we will add them to NetPick Checker as soon as they make a release. Then we got new Antique All Parameters button in the sidebar. Previously you had to click on each parameters group to turn them off, now it's only in one click. We do our best to take care of your time. Next change is link underlining is excluded from the tables. Previously we added this feature because we are all used to see links underlined, but now we made a decision to turn it off, to make spaces and underscores more visible for you. And the last change is interaction with the Yandex search engine has become several times faster. We were fixing retrieving of the SQI parameter from Yandex Webmaster service, but at the same time we managed to speed up the whole connection. By the way, it also caused less capture tests while scraping it. That's actually it. 
uh, I was happy to share the latest news from Netpeak Checker, wish you a lot of traffic and tons of quality content.